a look at the Editor's Keys Backlit Editing Keyboard for Final Cut Pro 10. As a diehard Final Cut Pro 10 user, I'm always looking to gain an advantage in my editing workflow, so I was intrigued when the folks over at Editor's Keys offered to send us one of these editing keyboards for review. Now this editing keyboard is specifically designed with Final Cut Pro 10 in mind, and it is a genuine Mac keyboard, so it has all of your normal keys like the command key and the option key, etc. It is a USB keyboard, so it just plugs directly into the USB port on your Mac. And as mentioned, it is a genuine Mac keyboard, so it has all the keys you would expect. However, you will still need to download a companion app to make everything work seamlessly. And each key, as you can see, has an individual printed surface with a tacky-like texture. So that may take a little getting used to if you're used to using Apple keyboards with that smooth texture. There is a definite tactile feel of the keys as you rub across them, but I quickly got used to that. In fact, it didn't hinder my typing ability whatsoever. Now another thing to keep in mind is the build materials. This keyboard is all black plastic. It has the feet in the rear and it also has the non-slip little rubber feet in the front. And this is a wired keyboard, so you have your USB cable. That is just a plastic cable, it's not braided or anything, but it's long enough that it can reach typical working surfaces. So we'll just plug that in right now. And there it goes, you see the backlight turn on. All right, so here are the individual keys with the backlight on. And there is a dedicated backlight button on this keyboard. The F6 button shares the dedicated backlight button, so you can turn that on or off just by pressing this button like that. The backlight also has three brightness levels that can be adjusted right here above the arrow keys. Super simple. Now the print for each key is just on the top of the key, so that means that the backlight actually bleeds through the sides which are transparent. So you're gonna see the backlight come on just like this very easily when looking at the keyboard from an angle. Now typing on this keyboard feels really good. Granted, I am coming from a 2016 MacBook with a keyboard that has minimal key travel. This keyboard has quite a bit of travel and is very comfortable to type on. In fact, you don't have to use this to edit with Final Cut Pro 10. You can just use this like a normal keyboard. Type your blog posts, write your papers, use the number pad to calculate your finances. Whatever the case may be, you can use this like a normal keyboard, but obviously it is geared towards Final Cut Pro 10 users. And that's sort of where my questions about this keyboard are raised, because if you are an advanced Final Cut Pro 10 user, chances are you're using customized keyboard shortcuts. You're going in, creating your own command sets, and because this keyboard has keys that feature printed shortcuts right on the surface that can't change, that's where some of the issues may occur because me personally, I have customized a lot of the keyboard shortcuts on Final Cut Pro 10. Went into the menu bar, went to commands, select customize, and then I've customized a lot of these keyboard shortcuts. Um, that's where the problem comes in. If you're an advanced user, then you may encounter the same issue. Now, if you're a brand new user, you're brand new to Final Cut Pro 10, you're brand new to video editing in general, this may be a very good product for you because it's gonna help jumpstart you and get you ahead of the curve quickly because all of the most popular keyboard shortcuts are printed right on the keys so you don't have to refer back to the manual time and time again. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.